four and five and welcome back to mini chaplets miss becca and this is miss cora yeah we're so excited to be with you today today we're going to talk about chairs <sighs> chairs i thought we were going to talk about faith we'll talk about faith but first chairs i need you to put on this blindfold blindfold yeah okay thanks all right miss cora thank you for putting on that blindfold now hold on one second okay I need you to carefully sit down you can do it. You won't hurt yourself. Go ahead and sit. Wow! Thank you so much. That was awesome. Wow, Miss Corey, you were so brave. You sat even though you didn't know there was going to be a chair there. Why did you do that? Yeah, because I believed that you wouldn't let me get hurt. I could trust Aww. even though I didn't see the chair. You could trust me. That reminds me of a story in the Bible. Really? So we learned last week that Jesus came alive again, which is amazing. But after that, one of his disciples named Thomas didn't believe that Jesus had really come alive again. He said, I won't believe until I see Jesus. And Jesus appeared to him later and said, look, you can see my hands. I'm back alive again. But someday there are going to be people who believe even though they don't see. And those people are going to be so happy that they believe. Wait, that's talking about you and I, Miss Cora. We believe in Jesus even though we haven't seen him. We believe that Jesus is the Son of God who died on the cross for our sins and rose again so that we could have eternal life. We believe that even though we never got to see it. That's wow. the faith God was talking about. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Bible tells us that's exactly what faith is. In Hebrews 11.1, 1, it says this, Faith means being sure of the things we hope for. And faith means knowing that something is real even if we do not see it. And you can have faith knowing that God is trustworthy. That's why we can have faith in him. But if we can't see God, then how can we know what God is like? That's a really good question, Miss Cora. God doesn't ask us to just trust him without any proof. In fact, just look around. God made the whole world. He made all the creation so we could know who he is. And in fact, he made another way that we could know who he is. And that's through his word, the Bible. His word tells us over and over again that he is faithful and that he will keep his promises and we can trust him. And in the book of John, which is a book of the Bible that shares all about Jesus's life and what he did and the miracles he did on earth, it tells us exactly why that book was written and why the whole Bible was written. John 20 verse 31 says this, but these are written so that you can believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And then by believing, you can have life through his name. This is the promise that God gives us in his word. We'll see you next time, Chapel. Bye.